determine P and not Q, imply P or Q, whether this is a tautology, a contradiction, or neither. A tautology is when with all inputs you get a one. One 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 one. A contradiction is with all the inputs you get zero 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 zero. For neither means some zeros and some one. We're going to use the truth table. We have two inputs, P and Q. Each logical variable, we have two possible un, uh, input, 0 or 1. 0 means false, 1 means true. And since we have two uh, logical variable, and each logical variable can take true or false, so you have 2 to the power of 2, you get 4. So there are 4 input combination. They are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Let's look at this example. In the second row, we are going to input P as 0, Q as 1. Here, both P and Q, we are going to input 1. Here, P input as 1, Q input as 0. Or P go true, input true to the P and false to the Q. And see what the output is. Remove the junk. Now, let's look at, we need to determine all this with the various input of P and Q. Not Q. Look at the Q column. 0 become 1, 1 become 0. 0 become 1, 1 become 0. Simple. Okay. Now let us look at this column. For this column, we will be interested in the column P and column not Q. So these two columns, okay? And the operator is N. N will be 1 if both the input are 1. So no, nope, no, nope. maybe, maybe. Check for Q. No, nope. so the only thing that has one one is the last row. In this last row, the output for the N. Oh, sorry. We look at the wrong. <laughs> we look at the wrong column, guys. Let's start over, huh? Sorry. We want P and not Q. So look at column P and column Q. This is an N operator or operation. N operation will be 1 or 2 if both the input is true or both the input is 1. So let's go to P and see uh, which input is 1. This is not. Potential is this. Let's look at not Q. This is not, this is not. So potential is this. This is not because this already off. So this is the input where P is 1 and not Q is 1. That will get you 1. The rest is 0. Now let us look at this one. This one you look at column P and column Q. All will be zero if both the input is zero, i.e. P zero, Q 
is 0, the output is 0. Don't need to look at other input. Search for P0, Q0, this one. So the in, uh, output is 0, the rest are all 1. Don't need to check. Last one, implication. For implication, you need to check. You need to check. One implies zero. The answer, one imply, true imply false is false. If you can see this to be false, then it's good. One imply, uh, one implies zero is false, okay? Look for uh, this column and look for this column P in P and not Q. This column P or Q. This column look for one, not 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 so one potential. Look for zero. This is not zero, this is one, okay? Because the rest you are not going to use it, and then if. If this is zero, then you need to put a zero, but this is one, so it is a one. So this is a one. Remember, we need to look for one implies zero is zero, but but this is one, so one and one imply one is true. The rest is all one. Therefore, with all these four different input. Sorry guys, for different input, we always get one. But that means it, this is a tautology. Tautology will give you all one. With all the inputs, you get one. Done. Thank you for watching. Hope video is informative and helpful. Before you go, make sure you subscribe, share, comment, and don't forget to hit or smash the like button. Hasta la